Hey everybody. Let's say you recently got you a new smartphone and you're new to smartphones. You may notice that the phone comes preloaded with a bunch of apps. For example, I mean tons of stuff. I mean you have apps for Amazon and there's tons of other things. Now of course I've already cleaned a few of them off but um anyways we're going to show you guys how to actually clean up the apps on your phone. For example, there's Amazon. Yes, I do shop at Amazon, but yet um, I don't do it much on the phone. I prefer to do it when I'm at the computer. And of course, we'll have Amazon MP3. I don't download MP3s a whole lot, and of course, I don't download it from Amazon, so that's another example of an app that I don't need. So that being said, let me go and show you how to get rid of the apps on your phone. Now, of course, when it comes to preloaded apps, there's one thing you have to keep in mind. A lot of apps that are actually preloaded on the phone, you can't delete, but you can disable. So anyways, what I did was I was from the home screen. This is Android Jelly Bean. Pull left, and you get to quick settings, and you go to all settings. Then our device will see apps. You want to choose apps. Now make, make sure you got a good focus here. Because I don't have a lot of screen real estate to work with. So anyways, you can see downloaded, running, and all. Now of course you want to be careful about all because there's a bunch of stuff in there that's pretty useful. And many of these apps really um, they're required for proper operation of the phone. But for example, um, I get scrolling. Let's see if I can find one that I don't need. I mean, there's a ton of stuff on here. Thing apparently even has a um, video editing app. Like, for example, NFL Mobile. I don't watch football on a phone, I watch it on TV. So let's select that. Now, in some cases, you actually have to uninstall updates for you'll get the disable option. So, in this instance, we have disable. So I'm going to hit disable. And select OK. I'm used to saying I'll click OK, but in this case, in case I'll be tapping OK. Anyways, let's go back. There's Quick Office. I don't know if I would ever use that or not, but another example would be Slacker Radio. That takes up about 14 megabytes. Here's an example of one you have to uninstall updates to. So uninstall updates. And it's asking if you want to replace this app with the factory version, you'll select OK. So uninstall finished. Tap OK. Select it again. This time select disable. Select OK. Now it's disabled. I mean, there's just tons of stuff on here. And at the bottom, it shows you the ones that are disabled. Yes, I'm still kind of new to smartphones, so I'm, I'm learning at the same time I'm making these videos. What gets me was to still have Amazon, Amazon MP3 on here. But the good thing is, you can disable some of those apps that way they're not in the way. Or you can at least disable notifications to them. For example, let me go ahead and disable Google Plus. If I ever want to use Google Plus, I'll reinstall it.
First thing I'll do is uninstall updates. Select OK. Replace with the factory version. Uninstall finished. And again, just select disable. And let's see if it clears it from the app screen. And as you can see, it's gone. So that way, um, it gives you a general idea of how to get rid of some unwanted apps on your phone. So anyways, hopefully this video was helpful for some of you. And the quest for comments. Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.